Hello! We are Phil and Sue. For the last year, we have taken our newfound hobby of photography and started to explore our local rural communities, our home state of Wisconsin, the neighboring states, and eventually the rest of the USA. As we explore, we find that... Always an adventure. Welcome to our Sanibel Island adventure. We are about to go over the Sanibel Causeway. This causeway connects Sanibel Island with the Florida mainland. The causeway consists of three separate two-lane bridge spans and two man-made causeway islands between them. The entire causeway is three miles long from end to end and currently has a $6 toll in effect for island-bound vehicles only. So we had to pay $6 just to go to the island. If you look on the right hand side of, of the bridge, this is the Caloosahatchee River. And then on the left hand side of the bridge is the Gulf of Mexico. Along the man-made Causeway Islands, there are many pull-offs and many places to park for people to go fishing and swimming. And here we are. We're on Sanibel Island. Let's go and explore. So we decided to go to Sanibel Island on a Saturday afternoon. We had hoped to relax on the beach after a long two days of travel. We arrived at the Sanibel Island Lighthouse Beach and, well, that was a definitely a no-go. Look at this parking nightmare. Did you know there are six beaches on Sanibel Island? We went to four of them and we could not find parking anywhere. And for those of you that may want to go here, you have to pay for parking at each of these beaches and it is five dollars per hour and had they all have very limited parking so at this point of the day we decided that the beach was not the place to go so instead we decided to check out the jn ding darling national wildlife refuge We arrived at the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge Saturday afternoon. This refuge consists of over 6,400 acres of mangrove forest, submerged seagrass beds, cord grass marshes, and West Indian hardwood hammocks. The refuge was created to safeguard and enhance the pristine wildlife habitat of Sanibel Island, to protect endangered and threatened species, and to provide feeding, nesting, and roosting areas for birds that migrate. Today, the refuge provides important habitat to over 245 species of birds. We saw our first iguana and alligator encounter here. It was so cool. I will also link the official website in the description box for you so you guys can check that out too. There's a turtle nest up here. Up here, with the, with the yellow things around it. Oh no, we can't take home the live ones. 
say, does that say turtle nest? real quick from the day before that we would need to go back to the beach early in the morning. So we woke up bright and early Sunday morning and made our way back to Sanibel Island Lighthouse Beach so we could relax, do some shelling, and enjoy the beach without the big crowds. And there was lots of parking! I have to say, this sunrise is spectacular, and it was awesome to be on the beach that early. I better get as little footage I can here because she left this thing on, so the battery's about dead. This is Sanibel, Sanibel Island. It's early in the morning, because if you don't get here early in the morning, you're not gonna get a place to park to get here like we tried yesterday. Fifteen in the morning. We've been here about an hour and a half. There's a lighthouse, and here are sea turtle nests. They're all up and down the beach, which I didn't realize they nested this side of the state. I know they do on the east coast. Enjoy Phil's photos from the beach. <laughs> I was collecting the shells. Please help us by subscribing to our channel, like this video, and hitting the notification bell to know when we upload our newest video. And again, thank you for watching.